Hey guys, it's Casey with Small Business Millions again. Uh, today I'm going to focus on accounting for small businesses once you're up and running and, and making some money, how you can keep track of everything for your taxes and your just knowledge and knowing where you're at. So <clears throat> I recommend uh, QuickBooks, Intuit QuickBooks uh, Essentials Online. So the way that this works is um, you get a password, you sign up, get a name and password, and uh, you can log in from anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, really, anywhere you have an internet connection. So all you do is you can go right here to Google, type in uh, Intuit QuickBooks Online. So it's going to pop up, and uh, you know, this one right here is probably good. So we'll come on here, um, and you can get it for you know less than ten dollars a month. It runs anywhere from ten to fifty dollars a month. It just depends on your uh, your needs and what features you want. So here's one that I have. Uh, this is just a test one I have set up for one of my my LLCs. Uh, it doesn't have a lot in it, but we'll uh, we'll show you how it works. So this is your main homepage here. And this will show you open invoices, uh, overdue invoices, and ones that have been paid. So this is when you're billing the customer. You make an invoice for them. You send it to them. Uh, and then once they pay it, it comes over here to the green. Uh, if they get past the due date, say you say it's due February 1st, which today's the 31st, you can see that. If it was due by tomorrow and they didn't pay it, this would show up here and would tell you you have a $1,000 invoice that's overdue. And this shows you the last 365 days. Um, over here, you can link your bank accounts, uh, different bank accounts linked here. It'll show you your balances. Uh, so you can keep track of your balances right there. Uh, you can also put private mode on. I'll show you what that does. Uh, that turns off all your numbers in case you have somebody in front of you. Um, when you're viewing it, you'll want your private mode off. Uh, this box, uh, expenses, this shows everything that you've purchased or paid for. Um, you can see it shows you a breakdown of what you spent as well, 14000 on purchases, uh, 2200 on subcontractors, $243 on dues and subscriptions. That might be websites that you're a member of that you pay for or gas or anything like that. $100 in bank charges, your monthly bank charge, maybe an overdraft fee, whatever it is that you paid for, ATM charge, uh, and then everything else. And then it shows you your graph here that you can see the same thing, last 30 days, this month, this quarter. So good breakdown there. Uh, and then your profit loss statement. Uh, total expenses 17,000, which is right here. Total income 56.45, which for some reason it's 56.76. I'm not sure where the difference comes in, but shows you your profit loss uh, right there. So this is your home page, everything great. Uh, and then your left hand side. So we'll go down each one of this, and I'll show you how to use it. Uh, you have a customer tab. Uh, customer tabs are for people you're selling to, your customers. So here we sell on Amazon, we sell on eBay and we sell to a marketplace called Raise. So those are our three customers. Uh, open balances, zero. Again, they would show up here if uh, if they did have an open balance. Uh, and you can create a nice invoice right here for them. Create a sales receipt, create an estimate, create a charge, or create a statement. So very easy when you want to create an invoice. Uh, your vendors, these are who you buy from. Uh, so there's, and who you uh, expense from. So this is not only your customers that supply you, but also, uh, you can see um, Bank of America is one of my expenses. I had a bank charge uh, for monthly maintenance, so that's one of my vendors. Uh, if you decide to do payroll, you can set up your employees. Uh, QuickBooks has a payroll system in here as well, which they will pay for you. Um, these are all of your transactions. You can see banking transactions, sales expenses. Uh, and then you can generate reports, profit loss, balance, all that. Uh, they also have a program to set up your taxes. They will pay your sales tax, pay your payroll. Uh, again, another feature that you can add for the monthly uh, amount. So let me show you how you would go in here and add things. So let's say that you met up with a customer and you bought some merchandise. So you'll go here to add a new transaction here. Your vendor. Uh, you got billed. So this is your bill screen. You'll select one of your vendors. Let's say I bought one from um, one of my Facebook customers. Uh, and you can name it whatever you want. Uh, right here you'd go to add new, add to the customer, and it'll save it, and then you can use that customer for future. Terms, let's say I paid them in cash, so it was due on receipt. Let's say I paid them today, 131. You can number the bill if you want. Uh, so under this account, you'll select what it was. Was it advertising? Was it bad debt? Was it bank? Uh, in this case, it was a purchase of goods. So purchase, cost of goods sold. Describe the goods, just say uh, random item, and I'm bad, uh, and the amount, let's say I spent $50. So 
So now I've got a cost of good for $50. So you can put a memo. Um, we don't need a second one here. And then you would save and close. And it would save it in your expense sheet. I'm not going to, but you could do that. And well, I'll do it just for you guys, just so you see. Save and close. So the bill is saved. So now you can come up here and go to your bills and click pay bills. This is a great thing about QuickBooks. Select it and pay it. And it would pay your bill. And it would go into your expenses as a cost of goods sold. Uh, I'm not going to pay it. That's not a real bill. So let me go back here. I'm not even sure how to delete those. If you wanted to, yeah, if you wanted to delete the bill, come to transactions, go to expenses, there it is, select it and then we would to delete it I believe you need to I think you have to open it and then delete there you go down at the bottom is more delete and then you can delete the bill there you go alright so if you sold the item now let's say we sold that same item we go over here to invoice and we create an invoice for the customer uh, let's say that they get 15 days to pay. You choose the customer, uh, raise customer, put in the product, which is sales. Uh, and all the options that you get are parts, labor, if it was a service, whatever it was. We'd sell this, we'd put our random item, you'd put your rate, and you'd save and close. Same deal. Then once the invoice was uh, was in, and you bring up your home page it will show in open invoices that somebody owes you fifty dollars and then once they pay the invoice you'll go to receive payment and do the same thing you did with pay bill but right there and receive payment you can also write estimates instead of invoices like on a labor job and then when you go into your uh, payment you'll click labor instead of sales or service instead of sales same deal uh, you can also do refunds here um, uh, and pretty much everything you need to do right there and it will update 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 and then you'll have a nice clean profit loss expenses you'll be able to see where you spend your money if you're you know one of these gets too big on gas or something else you know to cut back uh, and it will keep track of your bank balance right here for you uh, so that's a little snapshot of QuickBooks uh, it's really clean really easy to use really really uh, customer service friendly um, it'll give you all of your company settings and information payroll and it's affordable I mean I think my subscription on the one I actually use is 25 bucks a month so well well worth it you don't need an accountant your accountant can use this you can upload it for taxes you can import to Excel you can do a lot of things with this so uh, I recommend it very highly into a QuickBooks online essentials uh, and if you decide to do payroll do that I think I'm gonna add my payroll to it pretty soon uh, but other than that, you're all set. Uh, January 31st, 2015, make sure to check out our website at smallbusinessmillions.com. I'll put the link down in the description. Uh, check us out on Twitter, Small Business Millions. Um, and check out our YouTube channel, Small Business Millions, as well. Like us, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a great uh, weekend, guys. It's Saturday. Enjoy yourself, be safe, and uh, we'll put another video out next week. Thanks a lot. See you guys.